Diaspora Insurance is the custodian of the Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan that serves 13 African nationalities working and living outside of their country of origin. Coverage is up to a maximum cover of 20,000 US dollars, pounds, or euro per life. Your peace of mind is only a WhatsApp away, plus 44 770 3838 304 or plus 27 Hi everyone, welcome to today's video and I want to thank you all for choosing to watch this video for taking your time and clicking I really appreciate each one of you and if you're new in case this is the very first time here this is your girl Betty and guess what we have a lot of videos a lot of interesting videos that you can watch so make this your home by subscribing so guys Today, I want to talk a little bit about diaspora insurance because I've been talking about this diaspora insurance. And diaspora insurance is not just for, um, it's not just for people in diaspora, but we, the reason why we call it diaspora insurance is because it's, it's really, it's a great, great, awesome product for people who are in diaspora. Because when, when death comes in, the people in diaspora, they have to raise so much money to take care of uh, the final expenses for the loved ones. Let me tell you, you know what? For me, when I, and guys, let me tell you, I know this is going to make some of you very uncomfortable, but this is the reality of life. Nobody is dying because we are talking about death. We are not talking and preparing for death. We are just talking about insurance. It's like talking about car insurance. Nobody says I'm taking a car insurance because I'm going down the street to have a bad bad road accident you know we we these are things that are they happen death happens death is inevitable you know these are things that we have no control of we always pray god that we you know god to give us long life and that is our prayer we pray to god that god will help us to enjoy and live the the, the uh, you know the days of our of our lives we know health issues we know problems you know a happy healthy strong good life and we pray and trust god that he will give us that uh but at the same time that doesn't mean that it's bad to take an insurance cover just in case something happens along the way and the, your days are good let me tell you when i talk about days what there's one thing that i always believe that when the lord says he's taking you home it doesn't matter where you are you will go home or he will take you home very quickly because your days that is the end of it you know you are at at the end of your chapter whether we like it or not whether we eat healthy or we don't and i'm not saying that people should not exercise and eat healthy but all i'm saying you cannot hide from death as an expert, maintaining a funeral fund for your family can be difficult. From the minute we are born, we are all headed toward the same destination, death. We prepare a budget for every stage of our lives. How much more should we prepare for our final day of rest? This is a certainty, only we don't know when. Would you like a dignified send-off? The Diaspora Funeral Cash Plan offers experts in expensive monthly premiums and worldwide coverage. I encourage people to take a cover that in case something happens, well, and especially well in your dia in, in diaspora, you don't leave a burden to the people. You don't leave a burden to the community, to the whole entire diaspora community. Even, let me tell you, uh, one thing for sure when somebody passes and i've seen a lot you know i've seen uh, uh so many whatsapp groups of uh, of our dear friends who have gone to be with the lord the final expenses has to be met everybody contributes something including their own family everybody chips in something and then we come up with the fund for repatriation so let me tell you guys it's not cheap for example the people that i have seen that 
have passed here and all their funeral arrangements are made and their funeral is back home guys none of the whatsapp group i have seen that is raising less than twenty thousand. i know i was talking to somebody the other day and they told me i asked them what is the actual figure of sending a loved one remains back home and they told me they said um it's about fifteen thousand fifteen thousand dollars okay so that's about 1.5 million kenya shillings is it i hope i didn't get that wrong because i don't want to give the wrong figure but yeah that sounds right so yeah i mean it it cost about fifteen thousand and that is from the funeral home here you know everything taking care of the funeral home here and taking care of shipping the body back home and then I said, then how come I see people raising 30,000, 20,000? And she said, Betty, you know why? It's because nobody knows when you're, you know, when, when death comes, the family don't have the money. And the family want to travel. And the family want to eat. And the family want to take care of the hospital bills. And the family want to take care of the all the expenses back home. The the food the tent the few the uh mortuary back home you know the funeral home back home everything i mean everything included you know they this person was breaking it down and i see oh yeah they have a point they have a point when uh when they are raising depending with the number the size of the family if two people are traveling that's a lot of money so yeah that's that i told this person i said yeah it makes sense because i was wondering how come people are, you know like people are raising so much money you know i didn't understand and the person said yeah these people are right they are raising fifteen thousand for to take care of everything including the funeral home back home like leave funeral and the you know and up to the the grave you know like putting the body in sealing it so this person said, yeah, they are right with the figure. They are right with the 15,000. But that person said, don't forget. And don't forget, guys, let me tell you, I'm giving, I'm saying that person because this is a person that has experienced it firsthand. Mm -hmm. And that person said, it is so expensive. And she said, Betty, that time you are mourning, you are crying, you are robbed the time to even mourn your loved one because as soon as somebody dies and you, they announce the death you are so worried about where is all this money gonna come from and then you're worried about you know uh we have to changa we have to come up with all the money and then doing the math and then take it running up and down taking care of everything and making sure everything is done looking for a ticket your, your tickets and it's not easy and we more you know you, you know we it's just it's just sad even the whole community it breaks our heart that death is there at the same time there are no finances no enough money diaspora insurance is now extending cover to 13 african nationalities you never know when you'll need to return home for a funeral so protect your family with a diaspora funeral cash plan it covers 13 african nationalities working and living outside of their countries of birth we are a global marketplace that's here for your international needs. We offer top-notch customer service and affordable rates, so there's no reason not to buy. What the people are doing here in diaspora and what I have seen actually not just in diaspora, even back in our country. And this video is not just for Kenyans. This video is for anybody anywhere in any part of the world. What people are doing, they are coming up with these belief, be, be, bereavement groups. Oh my God, is it bereavement or be, oh my, oh my, you know, guys, I I can shrub my my tongue with the R and the L. But you know what I'm talking about? They come up with these funeral groups, like oh, the arrangement is somebody to be cheap uh, to be contributing fifty dollars a month or twenty dollars a month and when your your father dies or your mother dies or when you die or your child you will get this uh, this much you would get seven thousand from the group but there's a very big risk there's a very very big risk with that because groups are run by people and i have had cases i have had 
cases or where people who may vanish na pesa za watu you know people have just vanished with the group money they just you know so i'm not discouraging people from joining the groups if that is what you want because i'm not talking about diaspora insurance to bash any other group or to bash any other insurance company all i'm saying is be wise make a wise decision first of all contributing to those groups are is even more expensive than taking uh you, you know like uh joining a company like diaspora insurance because with diaspora insurance you are covered uh like twenty thousand you know you are covered to, you have the cover twenty thousand if anything happens you have the twenty thousand and then as soon as they announce the death as soon as you pass and you don't know what's happening in the world your family will receive the twenty thousand okay as soon as the person you have put in the cover and they die you will you will get 20,000 cash from diaspora insurance so that means it's like taking off the stress and i don't want you guys to stress about this and thinking we are talking about death here this is very serious we need to i cannot listen to this because i will die the next minute no you will not you will live in jesus name but you will take the cover because you are wise and god gave us the wisdom you will take this cover because it's going to help you. It's going to help to ease the burden. It's going to take away a whole huge of stress from your family, from your loved one. So, and this diaspora insurance, it doesn't matter the age. And it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't look at the health history. You know, it's not because you have asthma, you have cancer, you have this, you cannot be covered. You will be covered. They don't need the health history it's a simple it's a cover when you pass on or whoever is in the in your in your group you know whatever uh, 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 package you will get whoever is included if they pass on they get covered just like you know just like car insurance if this car if my blue toyota is in the cover accident happens I will get covered. But you see, the diaspora insurance, you don't have to wait forever. And that is the best thing. You know, that is the best thing because it's they understand the emergency. They understand the assignment. Diaspora insurance has been there for years. And they have a lot of experience. They have done this for many years. So they know the urgency. Death is not like a wedding. So whenever it happens, they take care of it right away. Within 24 hours, your money in the bank. Okay? So assuming you are a parent, you have left your kids, you have left them with no worry because the funeral is taken care of. And then friends and family, they will contribute and your children will be left with something. And it's not bad. Because by the time they travel and come back, they will find bills. They will wait, find bills waiting for them. Assuming as a child that has passed, you are put them in the cover. When you travel for their funeral, you come back and you'll, you'll be at peace. So I want you guys to understand, when I talk about diaspora insurance, this is not something that we should be so scared and worried about. Why are we taking the cover? This is the same as the way people say, watch a twingy group, Zishi, you know? And these funeral groups, they are happening. There are so many WhatsApp groups that that take, you know, like um, people come together. I don't know about other countries, but Kenyans are doing this a lot. Are you living in the diaspora without funeral insurance? What if your spouse or child dies? How are you going to fund the funeral? A GoFundMe fundraiser is the most painful way to say goodbye to someone you love. Do not rely on begging. Instead, contact Diaspora Insurance. Protect yourself and your family. Coverage is up to a maximum of $20,000 or pound or euro per life. Visit diasporainsurance.com. I do not like you. It's not cheap. I, even in the UK, I believe it's about 7,000 plus. There is no way. I don't know how much it is from Australia to ship the body back. By the way, burying somebody here is even more expensive. Not unless you choose to cremate. Even if you are a Muslim, even if you guys, uh, even if you get practice bar, uh, cremating the next day, I will assure you it is good to take a cover. It is very important. Okay, now, where can you get all this information and get it on www.diasporainsurance.com? Okay, and you can put slash hash uh, uh, a betty a z.
you know i'm gonna put the link down here and then if you have a question feel free to inbox me and i will connect you but the best thing is to go in the website join with my link we talk about buying land we talk about properties we talk about all these beautiful things but we forget about taking care of the most important things our final expenses and by the way even if you live 100 years your money will not go diaspora insurance will still keep your money so they will still take care of it so this cover is there you know all right guys take care of yourself god bless you and love you all take care insurance peace of mind guarantee the application process is hassle-free with or without a passport your acceptance is guaranteed take action now diasporainsurance.com